if a prosecutor has not been recalled or if a recall fails, what can states or voters do to address the negligence of these prosecutors in actually enforcing criminal statutes? Well, unfortunately, there are limited mechanisms. Uh, if you look at a district attorney, an elected district attorney, they, they are have enormous power in most states. Now, it varies state by state what the exact authority is. But as a general matter, an elected DA has almost blanket authority over criminal prosecutions in that jurisdiction. And, and that blanket authority plays out two ways. It's a decision of whom to prosecute and a decision of whom not to prosecute. And, and both of them are really dangerous. On, on the first one, whom to prosecute, you know, there's an old line that, 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 that a district attorney can indict a ham sandwich. And, and there's a lot of truth to that. That can be really problematic if you have a political prosecutor who is targeting his or her political enemies or targeting the enemies of whatever party is in power. That's one side of the coin. The flip side of the coin, which is much more recent, uh, is the decision of whom not to prosecute. And it's where these, these George Soros DAs are so shockingly problematic. Now, Soros, you're right, his op-ed in the journal is brazen. It is unrepentant. He said, I've done this and I'm going to keep doing it more. He's poured literally millions of dollars into district attorney races all across the country. And, and DA's races used to be sleepy little races. They didn't have a whole lot of money spent on them. You usually had a couple of prosecutors who were career prosecutors, and there were differences between them, but not massive differences between them. Soros, look, this guy, I, I've never met George Soros. I don't know him personally, but, but everything he says and does, he is extreme. And you can think of Soros DAs who systematically refuse to enforce the law to, to prosecute violent crime as another avenue for abolishing the police. 